Go faster! Today's the video everyone's been waiting for. Niles. Hey guys, welcome to our gimbal shootout. It's sure to be a blast. So today we are doing a most sought after shootout. We are doing an ultimate gimbal shootout. Shootout. So if you are in the market for a gimbal, chances are you've heard of one of these or yep. you're looking at these. Yep. This is the Osmo 1. We have the Osmo 2, Freefly Movi, and Smooth Q. Before we get started, the Freefly Movi and the Osmo 2 are both pre-production models. They will work the exact same. They just don't have like the final pretty look to them, um, but it'll work just fine, I promise. So these gimbals all come with various price points, starting with the Osmo 1 when it first came to retail was $299. Yep. Now it, I don't even know if they're selling it for sure. I'm sure you can yeah. find it at third-party retailers. Yeah, but. they docked it down to $199, and now on the DJI website, it says out of stock. So they're definitely gonna push you to, to the Osmo 2. However, this is for all the people that probably already have this gimbal. We make a counterweight yep. for it, the clip-on for our lenses. So anyways, mm -hmm. DJI Osmo 1. Yep. Um, Freefly Movi. Cinema Robot. Comes in at about $299. Yep. That's without the counterweight, which yep. you need for our lenses, which we have. Um, that's not quite available yet, but this is available for pre-order on our website. All right, so this is the Osmo 2. Right now we have like our jerry-rigged counterweight on there because we haven't quite made one yet, but we will, I promise. Um, this price point is $129, so they've gone a definitely toward a more consumer route as far as the build and everything, um, but $129 is a great price point, so we're really interested to see how it does. It feels more plasticky than yep. the original one, it's all like metal parts, yep. but uh, yeah, it doesn't matter if it works, right? Yeah. And then last but not least, the... Smooth Q. I forgot, Zyma... Zyme House? Zyum? I just call it Smooth Q. Smooth Q. We have used this gimbal in the mm -hmm. past with like a... Few other shoes. Jerry rigged counterweight yep. version as well. This is $99. So, this is definitely your most consumer. This is your most entry level. Um, if this thing is super stable, then this will be the call. So, those are the price points. Yep. We'll quit boring you with talking here. Let's go out and actually shoot with these mm -hmm. and check out the results. We will be shooting with the iPhone 10 today yep. and the Moment Wide Lens. All right, let's go shoot. Cool. I'm like staring at these. Like Whoa, dude, that's so cool. Perfect for four gimbals, because we all know everyone's gonna buy four gimbals. All right, so we're gonna start out. Our first test will be a follow cam, which is a very common gimbal shot. We're gonna do it running, walking, and also rolling on a skateboard, so we can get the three different variations of like the filmmaking style. It's also important to know that we are gonna shoot everything in 24 frames. The reason being is that when you shoot in slow-mo and slow it down, it actually looks more stable. So this will be a way truer test if we stay in 24. Um, you can shoot in gimbals in slow-mo. A lot of people do that, and that's awesome. But right now, for our test, just 24 frames. All right, ready? Yep. Go. So we just take the corner there. And I'm walking normal. Okay, good. Oh, finally got it. I was having issues with the Osmo Mobile 2 to get it powered on because this weight isn't that the best of setup. Um, but it's on, it's working. This thing is so much lighter than the first one. Osmo 2. First impressions on the Osmo 2. This is actually the first, very first shot I've ever shot with it, but it does feel good. Um, again, this counterbalance for our weight is kind of just like a DIY solution. Feels a little cheaper and lighter. I do prefer the feel of the original Osmo, but um, footage wise, we'll have to see how it looks when we get on the computer. Okay, I just want to interject really quick and talk about the arm of the Osmo that's in the shot. Um, let me go grab it. So basically what's happening here is the new Osmo 2 has a little bit larger of a like motor on the back, um, which causes the edge of the lens to pick it up on the side of the shot there. And an easy way to avoid that, which we didn't do in the video, but you can, is by shooting in flashlight mode. You just shoot like this, tilt it up, 
then you can actually completely avoid the motor so you have a clear point of view. So just wanted to point that out. That's why you see the motor in the shot there, but um, just one thing to note. All right. Cinema robot. Yeah, I got the cinema robot, the Moby now. So same test. feels so sturdy. It doesn't quite feel like the same gimbal as any of the other ones. It's a completely different design. You got two hands. Last but not least is the Smooth Q. It's like the more I'm on a budget gimbal. It's 99 bucks again and Caleb's getting it set up. It's like your boy didn't get paid. I can already tell this one's horizon line is crooked. I don't know why. Video coming up. Feels pretty good. I mean, it's 99 bucks. Um, that's obviously a lot of money still to put into like a just a video accessory. From from the get go, it kind of had like a little angle on the horizon line um, compared to all the other ones. With that said, it looks good on camera. All right, now we are gonna transition into a running test. Basically, running will put the gimbal under more stress and more stabilizing as you kind of run and frolic around with it. Frolic around with it. So we will see which one comes out on top with this test as well. Go faster. Oh yeah. All right, so the first test is completed and now we are moving on to a kind of tracking horizontal shot. A follow cams are very common, but so is like a horizontal tracking shot. So it's where you kind of keep the person in the middle and you follow along with them parallel. We're, we're testing a stabilization, but more specifically the, the roll access. Like, is it gonna cheat like this to stay stabilized and kind of kill your horizon line? Or will it be perfectly flat? We'll find out. Should we do our thumbnail right here? Like get, like, I get. Is that it? Let's get. All right, so now we're gonna test the only test that anyone actually cares about, skateboarding. We're gonna push and we're gonna roll and we're gonna send it, bro. Also, fun fact, we're taking this van down to Mexico in like two weeks. So hopefully it makes it. Oh, jeez.
dude, I have an idea. Yeah. Just for fun, just for fun, let's do that line without a gimbal. Just to see how much these gimbals are actually putting in work on the stabilization. And how stable Niles can really be. Yeah, okay, so this is just a handheld version. So, so basically what, what I'm gonna do, okay, well, so see what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna act like the gimbal, I'm gonna kinda cradle it, I'm gonna tuck my arms in and try to just go as smooth as possible. Ready? Yeah. Handheld. All right, so next test we want to do is driving test. We know a lot of people will be using the gimbals in their cars, out the windows. We just want to see which one holds up to like speed bumps and how they look in the car. All right, guys, I'm just trying to give you the behind the scenes angle of this. So we got the tripod in here with the camera on it, trying to film Niles. We really should add some uh, phone mounted on the dash setups, but. All right, here we go. I hope the camera doesn't fall. Don't take any too sharp turns. One thing to note when you're filming is to not rest your arm on the door. Because if you do, then you're at mercy to the bumps. If your arms are free, they'll get tired, but if your arms are free, then you can absorb all those bumps. Osmo 2. Sorry, it's kind of dark. I literally just panned it over. We got the free fly Movi. I'm recording. You know what's cool is that the winner of the open for the Moment Invitational is gonna get a free fly movie. So if that's your favorite one, you should enter. That's true. <laughs> he didn't lie. Okay, one final test. Well, not really a test, just something we have to do. I have to kickflip with the new Osmo 2. Um, yeah. All right, welcome back. We are back in the office. Day two. We have reviewed the footage, and now we're here just to recap. Um, we hope that was somewhat informative with what yeah. you watched and help you made your decision on what gimbal you might want to buy. Mm -hmm. Oh, hold on. Special guest appearance. Oh, big boy. Oh, Wally, come here. Come All right. here, Wally. Come here. It's which my one, dog. Which one do you guys like? It's like Groundhog's Day, but for gimbals. Osmo 1. The build quality on it is much better than the Osmo 2. They yeah. went to like a plastic material on the two. The one's nice solid metal. It has replaceable batteries, which can be cool if you have a bunch of those. Yep. And overall, if you have the Osmo 1, I say it's not worth it to upgrade to the two. Yes. Keep your Osmo 1, but if you are to get a new gimbal between the two of these, go for the second based on price. Yeah. 
All right, so the Osmo 2, we were um, super impressed with what DJI is able to do at such a low price point. I mean, yeah. we were impressed with how stable it was, um, great like LED brightness on this. We could see it in daytime, which I know that's small, but it still like it means a lot. Upgraded um, clamp system. Upgraded clamp system, basically, rather than just screwing, constantly screwing, you can adjust that, similar to the Smooth Q, actually, and then this is like a little fastener. There's a quarter 20 mount in the bottom, which is awesome. You can like put it on a tripod. You can mount this to like a car mount or something. Basically, it just opens up more creativity. Um, and again, great great price point. The only thing is just the fact that it's all plastic. Um, they definitely, because of the lower price point, they definitely had to cut, not cut corners, but just like make it cheaper for them. Uh, gross margins. And it, so, char so, it charges with micro USB. Which actually is a big difference because everyone has micro USBs laying around. Not everyone has like a this charger. Headphone jack, Headphone charger. jack charger. Brings us to definitely the personal filmmaker in me. The winner yep. here uh, is the Movi from Freefly. Every time I get to play with one of these and shoot on it, it feels like a full on like filmmaker's <clears throat> like piece of gear. Yeah, they call it like a cinema robot. And Freefly, as we've said before, is known for such quality gear. Basically, as you know, I've dropped this thing. And it's gonna be rad. Oh. So the thing's bomb proof, it's super stable, it like locks in really well. Like yeah. it, if it like <clears throat> once you're like in your shot, like it stays really true, it doesn't like wander around. A, a lot of gimbals will kind of just start like tilting up or down. The yeah. difference to a lot of people is very limited and yeah. like you can get really similar results yep. with any of these gimbals, mm -hmm. but all that to say, like, if you wanted to invest in probably the nicest gimbal on the market mm -hmm. right now, I would hands down say this one. Um, and it also has a bunch of modes. So if you yeah. are an iOS user, if you have an iPhone, basically, there's echo mode. There's all kinds of stuff to where, where you can do really cool, like, like, like roll pans or, or what's it called when you like. Yeah, there's a uh, Dutch roll. Yeah, you can do like a we, Dutch roll. To be honest, we need to do a full in depth yeah. kind of our review on just this unit, mm -hmm. but we just wanted to. Do like a straight like stabilization stabilization test. test. Yeah. Last but not least, Smooth Q. Smooth Q. Uh, this guy, if you already have it, cool. It does work. It just doesn't work as good as any of these on the table. Yeah. Uh, this is definitely it's the cheapest option, but it's all, but you can also tell in the quality of basically the build and, and how it works. Um, it's definitely the one that wanders the most. It kind of yeah. gets a weird horizon line. Um, it's just the least consistent. Uh, we've used yeah. this on a couple shoots and were left a little wanting with what we ended up with. We, we had to stabilize a lot of stuff in post. Compared to um, handheld, it's obviously a huge yes, difference. Yes, of course, of course. But all that to say, like, this is for, like, if you are to buy or maybe you already uh -huh. have one of these. Yeah. Yes, you can get good results out mm -hmm. of all of them, but it kind of comes down to, like, yeah. how much you want to invest. So, <laughs> the overall good. winner, <laughs> winner <laughs> over, overall Movi. Um, super strong gimbal, like we already said. A um, lot of features. A lot of features. We would buy this for sure, but yeah. because of the price, the best bang for your buck would have to be the Osmo 2. That's right. Uh, coming in at 129, this thing does a good job of just keeping it stable. It's super simple. Build quality does feel a little bit cheaper, but that's why the price is less. Mm -hmm. So best bang for your buck, just to get your standard smooth gimbal shots. Yeah. I'd go with that one. These counterweights for that you see that we just taped on to mm -hmm. this, we don't necessarily recommend this yet. Um, we are making a version for the Osmo 2 and yep. the Smooth Q that will be available in yeah. the near future. But for right now, um, there you go. <laughs> yeah. So thanks for watching. Let us know in the comments what you think about the gimbals, which one you liked, which one you would buy. And uh, we're happy to answer yeah. any questions that you guys Let have. Let us know if you want to do uh, us to do a more full in-depth review yeah. on either of these units. Mm -hmm. And like, we know we only got like a, we had like one afternoon to do a variety yeah. of shots, but we can go more in depth in the future. So definitely. Thanks for watching. Peace guys. See you in the next one. Cool. Sell these on eBay.